Welcome to the equipment because of Elevator is off limits. It's obvious from the way you're. Move along then. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to. Gratulo da Pograshi, o Neon Combat, Tundo Mutuba. 
Lo de Ida Kun. Ida Patit. Ka Chi Kun Ida Haldonga. Y. Ta Kung Jus Tak Miki. Grabal Moko. Kachi. Runda Di Haldonga Kun. Jedo Badawana Nidibo. Kuyami Ju. Three. Go away. One. Smart. I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport before the... I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Kuyami juski chika nai. Kang patoga smak tilia. Da beast you bong kunki punk pa. Tongi duama ji human ak un ikatune. Who you call a little girl, chuba face? Uba batu konchi. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. Kiyokaku! Kimba muli radwana ji! Kuyami juski chika nai! Uba baska dwana chichopa muska! Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu! You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Chubasa! Kimba muli radwana ji! Kaba volpa murji! Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. 
Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sid blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. When Gadden went blind, Everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Becks from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davit to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? My name's Holden. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows he can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Ebonhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. Mucho shaka panga, ye ki kun no ba mulad rati chicho.
mucho ya que apaga. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. You again? Why do you keep bothering me? I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden.
You again? This must be the official Let's All Bother Holden Day. Can't you see I'm trying to watch the dancing girls? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. Another patrol heading down. You better watch. Jikin Lord Jawata Uma Kavavo.
tu ne pudu. Rana nu prata dung no sarcea e ciua penki. Mucha shak pangpa. Inkin ku no ba mulri raci kun. Takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Tong hai tuam jiji yu malith pa ang... Ready. Yes? That quarantine must be tough when the off-world are stuck. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. 
It's difficult enough to draw the interest. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. What... what do you want now? You're not going to tell Davik's bounty hunters where I'm hiding, are you? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Thank you. You've s What? I don't think anyone... I've been hiding... You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away.
Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Volker Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Volkers or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes? Problem. Didn't work. Ready. Yes. On it. Damn! right there or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes now what are you doing here no I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you I get to ask the questions what are you doing here you're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris <laughs> Right there. Or You're a fool. If now you'll see why I'm the most. 
I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most, Saul. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. 
I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at the worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. I blame Saul, not myself. I was, I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. I fought Saul for years now and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Hold on. Where do you think you're going? This area is restricted to undercity patrols. Without the proper security papers, I can't let you pass. I don't know how they do things in the upper city, but down here, we follow our orders to the letter. Without your security papers, I can't let you pass. So just march on back to the base, talk to your commanding officer, and tell him you need the security papers. Otherwise, you ain't getting down. Stranger, my name is Galrud. Excellent. Thank <laughs> you. 
You played well in our last match, but luck just wasn't with you. How dare you accuse me? Or maybe you need to buy some... If you're ever... You cool cool mode! Cool yummy! Welcome to the... Because of...
Ladies and he's a legend in the sport. A 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids that but there's always some young Shot at the champion himself? Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? Welcome to the... Because of this... Thank you. 
Gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. Why would I ever want to leave here? 
I've got food and drinks, place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my dueling career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. I've seen you in the duel ring. You're just good enough to spark my interest. So I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect that bounty for killing me. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. You know, because Ajuta. Ladies and verily, in this corner, a living legend, a man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> and who would lay and now.
Bendak is down! It's over! It's over! The fight is over! Bendak Star Killer is down! Bendak Star Killer is dead! Oh, hail the mysterious stranger! The greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Terrace! What? A blaze! Oh, well, this box infects our society. You Sith's greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured I have all the proper permits to be here, spreading my message. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. Listen to me!
Yukukumo Kuya This game war is getting out of hand. Others aren't just attacking. Chikun ida haldonga, yiking. Chigratu loda pograshi onio kompa takum justak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ida haldonga, chigratu loda pograshi onio. Kavo dumpa ku palia muka pata budana chak. Chan chak bulara umra chis kaduchi. Shangji locha wana wama? Kava volpa mulji kumuna. Ka chikun i. Kava dumpa kapaliamo na pata. Bona na ti umpa do punta krita. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Kin ba mule radwana. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra chon. We team em bo rang thong. Mule ra on shaturing um ni. Kin kun shi kakachin awana wamata. Randi i chawa tong bola. Takum ju stach miki grabble mogo. Runda di ho tonga kut. Can chop a chow with tea chop twist yun kun. What to yama kama wuna hen bona na kachu kicha badwa. Tag this to bongo cookie mat panka. Ching shag ji kina lorcha watamwana we team and bone rank thong We tam Boragatong, mulira a shang turung ni na potata tuanga chun tize. We team em bo rang thong, mulira. Chikun ida haldonga. Shagji kina lorcha watamwana. Kin kun shishi kin ni kin kun ban mula ra. Mucha haldonga ya fulki. Chachiska do punta kasapul. Moka haldang ya fulki. Chachiska do punta kakaspaka. Takum justak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita haldonga. Jiji hakuji lorcha kin kuna. Vamuli rigjiko. We team em bo rang thong. Muli ra un shanturing um ni patoka wanga chon zi tse. Ako chiko pa. Tom patur. Chiyo kakon muli ra. Kien kon jo pesha. Chibe dua nani. Kava du. Kachi chun nai fa hao dung Run di hao dung ga tong kim ba nang Run di hao Jibe Run Lab Kachi chun nai fa hao dung ba da bong kwe yak Jibe dua na
No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcas do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. No problem. Didn't work. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcas won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcar's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then, when we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us, we both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. 
I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Volker base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. Not while the Sith quarantine is in place. Even the fast any ship leaving the terrace at Feel free to come back anytime. You have returned. You're when I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident. Everyone assumed I would step down, but with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew in a rage he left to join our arch-rivals, the Black Vote. Rezik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Volkers. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Brezhik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Your time would probably be... I suggest you hurry. The swoop rate...